hello friends welcome back to automation testing com so please like my uh, video and uh, subscribe this channel and click on bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos so in the last video we talked about actions class and uh, uh, we have seen the demo of uh, different keyboard operations okay so in this video i'll show you how to perform double click and right click okay and going forward we'll talk about some other operations like how, how to handle drag and drop and how to handle tool tip uh, how to use uh, how to work with multi select actions and mouse over so these are the different operations we are going to perform so, but today we will focus on how to perform double click and right click ok so my eclipse is already open so simply I will do I'll uh, what I will do is I will create one class double and right click I will select public static void main I will select few lines of code from previous class add throws declaration so if you go to my blog from here just navigate to demo websites and uh, here we have one link called different elements on a web page so just click on that so here I have a collection of different web elements so I have added couple of elements here one is hello uh, one is this hello hello double click me and uh, th there are two buttons one is this one and the second one is do right click so if you click on this one double click then you will see one pop up one alert pop up saying that double click alert and uh, hi you have double clicked on this button ok and you can close this alert by clicking on this ok button ok so we will automate this like we will see how to handle this and the second one is uh, still I am working on it like I want some options when you right click over here but we do not uh, I have not yet completed so simply what we will see is we will simply select this element and we'll right click on it and we'll see all these options ok so let's uh, handle first this double click so simply I'll uh, copy this URL and I'll put it over here and let's inspect these elements first this one So we have this ID called double click bit button. Okay. So we can use that is ID right. So ID yeah. So driver dot find element by dot ID and simply we'll give this ID and let's store in web element. <coughs> web element I'll give some name right click button okay uh, sorry double click double click button and we have to import this web element from org.openq.selenium okay now we have to create the object of actions class right uh, act new actions and we have to pass the driver web driver and we have to import this actions class from org.openq.selenium.interactions ok so simply we have one method called double click okay this double click we can use and uh, what is this target element is this one and uh, we have one method we have discussed perform so this is single uh, action so we can directly use perform so let's see whether it is working or not let me just run this program
the site is loading now it's double clicked what happened let's close let's close this one as well yeah you can see so the alert is open this pop-up right now what what we'll do we'll click on this ok button we'll close this alert so how we'll do that uh, regarding the alerts and all we'll uh, look into it later on but uh, simply I'll let me just uh, uh, do that so driver dot we have one function called switch to switch to frame or window and uh, we have alert sorry once again switch to dot what is happening alert and then we have accept accept method okay and let's put some comment like clicked double clicked and after that we are handling this that alert so we'll talk about alert later on like how to switch to alert and how to uh, click on ok or how to reject okay how to click on cancel so since we have only one option so I'm just accepting that ok button to close that alert and let's put some wait two seconds of wait here and later on I'll simply close the driver close so let's rerun this program it will click on that double click on that button double click but we are not able to see how come one second because two windows are already open so let's rerun I think after double click we have to put some weight we'll do that yeah you can see the alert appears for a second so let me just put two seconds here and later on two seconds before closing the browser yeah you can see one second what happened Browser is opening, the site is launched, and uh, it will go to that element and double click on that. Double clicked, and it will close the alert. And after two seconds, it will close the browser. Okay, it's fine now. <coughs> Sorry. Now let's see the uh, the second one. Uh, the right click okay so here we have the second button simply right click on this and inspect it what do you have uh, this right click button id is right click button okay so simply 
I will write driver dot find element pi dot id and this is the uh, id okay and simply we'll copy this to and instead of double click i'll put right click here right click button okay and uh, since we have already created the object of actions class so we can use directly act dot we have method called context click so we have seen this in the last video so simply i'll do this put it over here and we have perform at last we have to use this perform button so context click we have seen in the previous video what is the use uh, you can see here performs a context click at the current mouse location right click mouse action okay so since we navigated to this particular button uh, particular element and then we'll perform right click okay so let's do that alert is open it will close and then it will right click and let's put some weight here so we can see alert is closed and second it will right click on that button second button and it will close the browser after two seconds okay so this is how we can uh, work with double click and right click okay so so i think i'm good for today and uh, in the next video i'll show you how to uh, how to handle drag and drop okay later on we'll see tooltip and multi select actions mouse over etc and uh, if you go to my blog i am covering all the topics in this uh, selenium tutorials you can see here all the topics are listed so if you miss anything uh, if you missed then you can go through this okay like handle radio buttons and check boxes in selenium so i am writing the notes as well so you can go through this okay i'm writing the programs as well i'm copy paste the the program which i'm writing through eclipse while uh, giving the demo uh, on youtube okay so in the next video guys uh, i will talk about uh, how to handle drag and drop so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye